Hi friends, you know usually we look at a lot of cool uh, handguns and interesting things like that. Today we're going to look at something else that's I think equally interesting and it's the new Hellion Bullpup Rifle uh, from Springfield Armory. Now I'm going to be the first to admit, I'm not real familiar with this platform. Uh, I only just got it yesterday. Uh, I've put maybe two or three magazines through it just to make sure it runs and stuff like that. And uh, so far, I think the biggest thing that struck me is, first of all, is the quality of the build. Now this is made in Croatia, but this is their national uh, military rifle. And of course, Croatia is known for manufacturing really high quality firearms. Uh, Springfield Armory has a long history of working with gun companies there. And and I think it's obvious because this really shows uh, attention to detail and a high quality build. Uh, the other thing that struck me is the fact that this rifle is maybe eight inches shorter than your average uh, AR-15, give or take a little bit, yet it still has a full 16 inch barrel. Well, the bullpup design does a lot of really interesting things. It uses the space back here that's usually sort of dead space. So you've got the magazine in the back now, and uh, you've got the ejection port in the back here, which of course allows you then to tuck everything in just a little closer. And so rather than holding back here like you kind of normally would on a rifle, you actually are now holding it up here. And if you're kind of a shorter guy like me, close in that buttstock and you've got a really tidy, short, compact rifle. And to me, it begs the question, why have a short barreled rifle when you can have a full length barrel on your rifle and still be shorter overall? Now, I've played with some other bullpup designs, the Steyr and a couple of other things, uh, and it takes a little getting used to it. And it's, I think it's like a lot of things. If you're going to carry one, then you should really uh, reserve that platform for what you carry. You know, don't swap around a lot because it's it, you'll develop muscle memory and it's really hard to make a transition back to a more conventionally styled rifle. At least that's my opinion. You know, unlike a lot of AR platforms, I would call this one complete as you get it. Um, it's virtually completely ambidextrous. Uh, it's got safeties that you can easily manipulate on both sides of the gun. Uh, you can reverse the ejection port easily. Uh, the magazine releases easily with one hand. It doesn't really matter which side uh, you grab it from. Uh, I think this is, is particularly clever. You can operate the uh, bolt on either side. It'll uh, rotate right or rotate left. So if you're a lefty or a righty, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I really like the fact it's got built-in flip-up sights and they're good quality sights and they're easily adjustable with your fingers. You can actually move them just, you, know, you, don't, you don't need a special tool or a bullet tip or anything. It has a user adjustable gas uh, control knob here. So you can either put it for S for suppressed, uh, like if you're gonna be shooting subsonic rounds maybe, or normal if you're shooting standard uh, ball ammunition. This is a 5.56, so it'll shoot anything 5.56 military. It will also shoot anything 223. And uh, I ran about three or four different kinds of rounds through it in the three or four magazines that I've run so far, uh, heavy bullets, light bullets, and it all seemed to eat them up just fine. Of course, some other things, it's got a, a you know, Picatinny rail, like everything in the world now. It's uh, m lock compatible. It's got a BCM uh, gunfighter type grip on it. Uh, the easily, I think it's a three or four, you know, multiple point adjustable rear stock. Uh, cheek riser can be adjusted, which I think is really handy. Okay, a few more high points kind of. Uh, it's a uh, oh, one in seven twist uh, cold hammer forged barrel, which is it's a good twist rate for a 5.56 five, or 223. It should shoot heavy bullets, light bullets, you know, as good as any mere mortal probably ever needs them to be shot. Uh, it's got this four prong flash hider and I, I would probably change that to one with a closed end. Uh, just because these are a little grabby. Sometimes you'll catch them on clothing or things like that. Uh, it's about 28 to 29 inches overall, give or take a little bit. It's got uh, that adjustable gas system, which I was really surprised. It's really easy to change that. You don't need a tool or anything. And it's a two position adjustable short stroke gas piston. I read that in the manual. I really am not quite sure what that means. I'm sure you know. And uh, like I said, I'm no expert with these guns, but I do like to shoot them. Speaking of which, uh, let's shoot it a little bit so you can see it in action. Okay, I've got a quick target up at about 25 or 30 yards, uh, five rounds in the gun. I just want you to see it shoot a couple times. It's kind of a bit of a two-stage military type trigger. I mean, it is essentially a military gun. 
Uh, and uh, so it takes a little getting used to if you're a prima donna with a trigger like I am. <laughs> so uh, with my excuses suitably given up front, uh, let's put a few rounds on target just so you can see it shoot. Uh, no doubt the gun shoots better than the shooter shoots. <laughs> Let's go up uh, so I can make my apologies. Well, I keep fighting wanting to put a red dot sight on my guns, but I can see now that maybe I need to think seriously about doing that. Actually though, uh, it's a really unusual configuration for me and I was surprised at how quick I could really adapt to it. And this was the first time I've actually seriously tar tried to target the gun. And uh, at 25 yards, I mean, gosh, that would certainly do whatever job you needed to do. I'm gonna go ahead and be shooting this at 100 and out to a couple hundred, and then uh, we'll be doing a feature on it in Guns Magazine pretty soon. So, uh, all right, let's wrap this up. Well, I think that was a bit interesting. It certainly was for me because I like to expose myself to kind of new platforms and, and things that make you try to think outside of the box. And I think this does that. Uh, what's the takeaway here? Uh, Springfield's new Hellion, $1,999, uh, but it's extremely high quality. I think when you look at what people pay for some of the AR platforms, that's $2,000 is not that much. And so, you're getting a pretty complete platform here. And uh, I think if you were gonna go to a war tomorrow, you could probably do worse than taking this gun with you. It's that kind of a thing. Uh, I think because it really is a military gun, this is essentially just the semi-auto version of it. So uh, you get what you pay for. And I think in this case, uh, you get a lot. So Springfield Armory's new Hellion, Thanks for tuning in. Remember the four firearm safety rules and uh, do me a favor and take a new shooter shooting, would you? Thanks a lot.